Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't posted in a while again because um, if you don't know, I lived in Miami and that was just not good for me. And I was just literally so sad. And that was the first time I can like really say I was like depressed and stuff like that. So I just wanted to do a get ready with me and I guess kind of like talk about like depression and stuff which is kind of weird for me because I don't really like talking about my feelings or talking about like personal things going on in my life. But I know I did mention like being really sad on TikTok and stuff and so many other people were like saying that's exactly how they felt and that they were going through the same thing. And it kind of, it didn't make me feel like I was going through it alone. like. There's other people going through the same thing as me and although that sucks because I don't want anyone to feel that way It's just like I'm not alone doing this. There's so many other people And so many other different situations going through this So I just wanted to talk about it and hopefully make someone else not feel as alone and um, Yeah, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup and talking about it and hopefully I don't know, it could help you out or make you feel less lonely or I don't know, just at least someone to listen to or something like that. And sorry if you hear background noise, my brother is watching TV downstairs, so hopefully that's not too annoying. If not, I probably won't post this, but let's just get started. <laughs> Okay, so um, sorry if I don't look into the camera a lot because I'm going to be doing my makeup and stuff like that. But I have a mirror right here. This one I'm going to be looking into. But okay, sorry if my dogs are annoying too. They're going to be here. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know, my name is Tatiana. If you've never seen me before, but other than that, like I do social media. I started two and a half years ago. And because of social media, I've gotten to make, <laughs> please, but because of social media, I've gotten to make money, I've gotten to travel, I've gotten to move to places, I've met so many friends and people, and it's been super fun, honestly, and within those two years, I was really happy because I didn't have a good high school experience. Um, <laughs> I didn't have a good high school experience like I got bullied which made me leave because I couldn't handle it and I ate alone at lunch yada 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 and um, social media kind of started once I started online school and ever since then I guess like my little social media thing was kind of like the high school I never got to have a good high school experience that I never got to have so I was really enjoying it and when I was traveling, if you've known me for that long to Atlanta and LA and stuff, I was having the time of my life. I loved all the people that I met. I, anyways, I loved all the people that I met. I wouldn't go back in time and do it again, but it's a memory that I'm always gonna cherish and love and be so proud of myself about. But um, in those two years, I wasn't focused on anyone but myself and I've never really like fully focused on myself. I always put other people before me. I always cared about people's feelings. I always wanted people to always like be comfortable, feel comfortable obviously. And um, that didn't really allow me to put myself first. I always put I always put other people first and that kind of, um, that didn't help me out at all. Um, with life and friends, mentally, all of that. So um, within those two years of me doing that, again, I did put myself first, which was rare of me to do. I've never done that and I didn't talk to anyone. I 
had no interest in anyone. I didn't want to talk to a boy. I just was not interested. I was just um, Mocha. I was just my dogs are so annoying. I was just um a hundred percent focused on me and being and focusing on myself was probably one of the best things with no distractions because I didn't care about other people and like I didn't put anyone else for I mean obviously I cared about other people I'm always going to care about people's feelings and stuff but I prioritized mine and me prioritizing my myself got me to where I was at within those two years which I'm so happy I did if I didn't prioritize myself I probably wouldn't have um gotten to the point where I was at and believe me I know I'm not all that or anything. Um, I'm just happy and proud that I did put myself first and did all that just because, oh my gosh, Teddy. Just because, um, Teddy, why are you barking? Come here. Oh my gosh, my dog is so annoying. One second. So anyways, yeah, I, I know I'm not all that or anything. I'm not like um, super popular or anything like that. Yeah, I'm very aware of that. I'm very self-aware of like where I'm at. I'm just like, social media has done a lot for me with money-wise and being able to do everything I did. Like I didn't go to college just because social media kicked off, which I don't regret. I really don't want to go to college. I never wanted to go to college. But um, yeah, okay, now let's start getting into um where I'm where I was at like nine months ago so okay let me I need to stop doing my makeup for a second so I can think properly and explain this so when so once I first started traveling the first place I moved to was Atlanta I was there for about I think six months after the six months I came back home for I think two months then I ended up moving to LA and I ended up moving to LA for about nine months and then after LA, I came home for, I think, two months again. And after that, I was, um, I was kind of confused. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, those other two times of me moving, they were kind of like opportunities for me to move. And um, they were good opportunities. So I took them and I was super happy and content. And I was like... I was so busy with stuff that I didn't really have time to think about the future or anything like that and I've always been a kind of like go with the flow type of person anyways. Anyways, I've always been a go with the flow type of person and then um, one of my friends who I've known for a while, he's in my sister's grade and he was going to University of Miami and he needed a roommate and I automatically said yes because all my other experiences with moving went super well. I was like, yes, I'll go to Miami. I've never visited Miami. I've never been to Miami. I never checked it out. I never did anything, which is horrible. If you're moving somewhere, be sure to check it out. And before I moved to Atlanta, I did that. I checked it out. I met the people. I made sure I liked it. And same thing with LA. I traveled to LA so many times before I went there and moved there. And so I already knew I liked it. And Miami, I did not do that. And the second I got there, I knew I made a mistake. Um, if you haven't seen my other video, like I literally cried the moment I got there. And I was like, I literally made a mistake. I didn't know if I was overwhelmed or I was just like, there was so much going on. I was just, I just needed to cry. But I knew something deep down that like, this was not the place for me. And so I was mad at myself. like. I'm about to spend so much money here on rent and do all these things for me to not like it. And I've tried my best to make um, to make the best out of a like sticky situation. And I moved there during October, so I wasn't really there during the holiday season. Like I went to LA towards the end of October for like a week or a few days. And then after that, it was Thanksgiving. I came back for like a week. No, I came back for like three weeks. And then I ended up staying. I ended up coming back um, for Christmas. 
and I ended up staying for like a month and a half because I did not want to go back to Miami and then after that I ended up going back to Miami and that was the longest I had been there without coming back home which was for three months and um it was horrible uh, my friends ended up visiting me for spring break but other than that I was so sad there like it's like it's not I guess for me it's embarrassing but depression is like different for everyone and people handle things so differently like for me I've never really been depressed I've been really sad I know I've been really sad but it, I've, I've never been like super sad to the point where I stopped doing like that. okay I never been I've never been like super sad where I stopped doing my like normal daily things that I loved or liked or just like normal hygienic stuff I guess like washing my face or like my hair and stuff like that and I knew I was super sad because of like the things I was thinking I was just like always so negative and I was like I was just so negative towards myself it was everything mentally like I was just so pissed off I was like more negative towards my body and I was just so infuriated and pissed off and that's like really it and um it felt like uh, I don't know how to explain it wait let me see let me gather my thoughts really fast so again like I was saying depression is different for everyone some people are like I think it's called highly functional they can do everything they can do their daily activities and still be sad they can act perfectly normal and still be depressed and stuff like that other people need to be alone other people cry other people don't want to be around any like be around anyone and some people are just again act perfectly normal and act like nothing's wrong and for me i act like nothing's wrong when people are around me but when i'm alone i just like ball my eyes out i'm crying i'm all the above again i don't really like talking to people about how i feel because one i don't think anyone cares and i know if i were to talk to my friends and stuff about it i know they care but i don't think they'd fully understand so i don't like explaining how i'm feeling to people and like i think a lot of people come for like sympathy and like they're like oh it's gonna be okay like i don't want to hear that like i know things are gonna get better i always knew that things were gonna be better i just knew in the moment that i was really sad and it sucked where i was at in life because i've had such a great experience the last two years with like my life and everything going on i was just like this fucking sucks the way i'm feeling and i hate it i don't want to feel like this and um i don't know but for me i did know things were going to get better and everything is different for everyone again like some people don't think things are going to get better but just know they do in time i promise you things whether that's six months weeks years things will get better and i know that's hard for a lot of people to think about or like realize or accept but things do get better eventually in time and it sucks because it can take a while sometimes but um other than that like for me like my depression and stuff like i stayed in bed all the time i slept all throughout the day um i wasn't eating at one point i mean i was eating but not as much as I normally do. So normally I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I Sometimes I only ate once. Um, I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to see people. One, because I didn't really know people in Miami. Two, I didn't really want to meet people. Um, three, I just didn't want anyone to meet me with how I was doing mentally and stuff. I, don't, I didn't want to be like a negative Nancy or anything like that. So I was just like, it's just better for me not, to not hang out or meet anyone anyways and I, I i knew i was sleeping a lot because i just wanted the days to go by faster because if the days went by faster that means i was going to move out sooner and honestly 
that made the days go by longer i think sleeping and stuff because i was like oh my god it's still the same day i've been sleeping all day like this freaking sucks and i wasn't doing like my night or morning routine anymore like for my face so that made me break out and that made me even more sad because my acne i used to have really bad acne and i guess it like triggered me and stuff like that so i got even more sad about that and um teddy and um other than that like i wasn't like bathing like i normally do like every single day like sometimes i'd wait two days sometimes even three days which is like for me, it's just like, I normally bathe every single day, so like that kind of bummed me out and stuff like that. And I knew I was sad and stuff. And I think um, some days I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be sad. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go out, and I'm gonna do something. And I ended up um, doing that a few times and it did make me feel better, but eventually when I kept going out by myself, I was like, okay, this isn't fun anymore. Like not having anyone to do things with or talk to while I'm going out kind of sucks. And I was like, I got in that cycle again of being sad and just staying in and sleeping a lot. And I remember, I mean, I, I did hang out. I think the whole nine, 10 months of me being there, I hung out with like four people. And I remember one person was like, is this all you do all day? And I obviously didn't want to be like, I'm literally like fucking like depressed here. And I was just like, yeah. And he was like, it's fucking boring. And I was like, yeah, but that's what I do and stuff like that. And so that made me feel even worse. But um, other than that, like I, I did my best to try to make the best out of a situation. I just couldn't, I literally like had no one. So I feel like there's a difference with feeling lonely and being lonely, like being physically lonely, like not having anyone and then like being mentally lonely with like literally not having anyone to talk to. Like, it's just, it, I don't know how to explain it. Like, like, don't get me wrong. I love being alone. Like, well, before I love being alone, but in moderation is what I learned. So what I learned about myself throughout this whole thing is like, I like being alone. I've always enjoyed being alone. I feel like I recharge by being by myself, but I like being alone in moderation. Like I like hanging out with my friends, going to kickbacks, but I like coming home and being alone and stuff like that. But I think seeing people and being around people I do like, but again, in moderation, like, I'm not someone that, like, I'm not someone that likes to go out and, like, be around people all the time. Anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, I just like being around people in moderation, and every single old time, and every single time I was back home, I was completely different, I was super happy, I was around my family, I was around my hometown friends that I'm close with, and I was just, like, I was just like a total completely different person and I remember talking to my mom and she was like come back home like if because I, I didn't really like tell anyone that I was like super sad and stuff like that and my mom was like we have no issue with you coming back home like come back home like we'll move all your stuff down like if you're sad or whatever then come back like if you're not happy and both my parents said that and I was like so thankful. My parents have always been like pretty, like not pretty supportive. They've always been super supportive. And I just don't, I didn't want to take the easy way route, the easy way out, which I knew was moving out early and moving all my stuff out. And I was like, can you like literally just not thug it out for like a few more months and like just be fine? And then I thought about it and I was like, I am literally like so sad to the point where 
every single day feels like freaking repetitive like i was doing the same thing every single day it felt like and on top of that like i just i was so mentally unhappy i was like i literally cannot be here any longer because teddy teddy no i was just like i can't be here any longer because if i am i'm literally going to go crazy and um my parents ended up coming down and um moving all my stuff back and here i am now in texas and um i had so much time to think over there about like literally everything and one of my things was like social media doesn't really fulfill me like it used to and like i want to do more with my life too and like i thought about what if i do go to college for like journalism which is something i've always been interested in or i go to esthetician school and start doing lashes or if i go to real estate because i do like that as well and like houses and stuff and um i had time to think about like boys that i've talked to dated whatever and where i went wrong and what i look for in like guys now and stuff like that and like mentally like just overall myself and how i want to live my life what what i look for in life and what i want to achieve for myself and things like that so i had like so much time to think about like all of that which i how do i like yes i do regret moving to miami but i'm glad i went because in the long run i learned a lot about myself like i learned a lot and um I'm happy that I got to think and I think also heal from a lot of things that I didn't really get to heal from, whether that be like boys or my childhood or things that I never got to heal within myself. So I'm super glad I went through that. And um, other than that, like I'm still mad at myself because like that was a big deal, me moving. Like I spent sixteen thousand dollars on rent on a place that i was so unhappy about and that's something that i was also really upset about myself about like i also had to think like life isn't just like i think i've i've been so blessed with everything and just i know other people don't have that opportunity to do the things that i've gotten to do and i was just not thinking like i was really taking everything for granted i feel like and i can't do that like that's not how life works like like i don't know why i did that and i'm just like money doesn't like fucking grow on trees like yes it does t like technically but like i can't just like pull it off of a tree and it's like in my hand type stuff like I can't, I have to be responsible, like, I'm an adult now, like, I have things to do, things, like, I could have done so much, so much with that money, I could have invested it, I could have gotten the car that I wanted, which would have, I would have wanted 10 times more, but I didn't think about that, and, like, I could have saved it, maybe for a future apartment, whether that be in LA, maybe Dallas, Houston, or Atlanta, or something like that, I just was not thinking, and, now with now with my money i'm so much better have a savings have my debit card i have two credit cards and i just want to be smart i want to be wise i don't want to screw myself over i don't want to like do any of the things that i was doing before and stuff like that but um other than that like yeah and i think Honestly, what would have made Miami probably better for me is if I had friends and not like, I'm kind of picky with my friends. I think as everyone should be, 
I'm not really like a big party girl and that's like literally what Miami is like if you don't like a party well I mean there's the beaches too but like Miami is literally full of clubs and stuff I wasn't 21 so I couldn't really like do much I mean me and my friends were able to get into places luckily and all that when they did come down but other than that like Miami isn't really all that like it's not and I think that um I don't really know what could have made it better to be honest because I don't even know if I had friends yeah it would have made it better but like overall I know I still would have been sad um I don't know I Miami just literally was not the place for me and that's what like some other people were saying when I was talking about um when I talked about it on social media they were talking about like college and like the place that they ended up going that place that they ended up going to they feel like super lonely or they don't like it and they regret going there and stuff like that and it's just like you're not alone like it's not a good feeling but like there's so many people who feel the same as you and it's okay and things will get better in time even though you can't really like see the light at the end of the tunnel i guess like things do get better but like even now i'm mentally way better i'm so happy i've been super busy i've been going to sleep at 10 and waking up at like 7 8 a.m and i've been super busy i've been going out with my family and friends i've been actually getting ready like in miami i got ready a total of like a handful of times i would probably say like five times and um here i've gotten ready so many times i've um, I don't, I don't know. I've just been myself. I've been happy. I haven't had any negative thoughts. I've been super positive and that's like how I normally am. I'm a super positive person and stuff like that. I hate thinking that negatively. I don't like thinking like that. Like that doesn't do anything for me. It makes me literally like sad thinking neg negatively. And I think that d goes for anyone. And like who wants to be around someone negative too? Like, I don't know. But other than that, like that's why my parents also got me a dog. They knew I was super sad. And in April when I came down and visited for Easter, they, we ended up getting a dog for me to take back. And having Teddy was probably one of the best things that helped me out because that kind of changed um, from me sleeping every single day to him waking me up early in the morning, me taking him to the dog park every single day, actually going outside and getting out of my apartment. Um, and um i don't know i'm super glad i got teddy because he really did help me out with um i guess my depression and stuff and then other than that like yeah that was it and i was i was really sad for i think not counting the holiday season for a good like five five six months i was really really like fucking sad and i was crying every single night not every single night but i would say a majority of nights i was crying and i have like again i don't like talking to people and i really recommend making videos and ranting to your phone about how you feel because like now i can go back and watch those videos and be like dang like it really grew from that and stuff like that and um, it feels good once you rant about something that you're feeling really down about and stuff like that. So I have all my ranting videos and all my crying videos of me down there and being super fucking sad and things like that. And, and just like ranting about how I felt, ranting how I was mad at myself, ranting about how I regret this decision and how this was a waste of time and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. Um, again, like I said, I don't, uh, I, I know some of y'all uh, may not believe in God, but for me, I'm Christian and stuff, and I do believe I was put there for a reason, although I don't understand why right now. I know that I think in the future, I'll be like, okay, that's why I was put in that place to learn this or do whatever. Um, if I look back, and see what I got out of Miami. The only like, I guess good things I got was mentally maturing and 
getting my natural curly hair back because I was not getting ready. I did not care to do my hair or anything like that. So getting my hair back, um, I guess speaking Spanish, working on my Spanish, um, being more independent. Um, other than that, that's it. Like, I didn't really like benefit from moving to Miami, I guess, but I don't know. I know that some people dream of moving to Miami and stuff like that. I remember watching a video and this guy was saving up money to go visit Miami and he was like, that's my dream place to go visit. And I remember watching that and I started crying and I was like, why am I like so fucking unhappy? Like people like dream about like going to Miami and visiting Miami and they don't have enough money to go and stuff like that and I'm taking this for granted and stuff like that I was just like mad at myself like why the fuck are you sad like be happy and I just didn't understand and I know it was a blessing to be there move there and um just be there overall like people my age like what how old was I yeah I, I was 20 the whole time of being there so like I'm 20 years old I paid my own rent in Miami and did things by myself in Miami like I should be proud of myself which I am proud of myself but again Miami was just not for me and that's okay and um I learned a lesson about moving make sure you go physically there you check it out you stay there maybe for a few days you um go around the area make sure you like it and um make sure the place is for you um maybe make sure you have friends there um that's something now that i'm going to look for when i look um in an area make sure i at least have one to two friends that live there i don't have to be close to them or anything but like friends that i'd be able to hang out with because it's very important something that i learned is i always thought that i was okay with being alone like literally all the time and i'm not and um i learned that i do need to see people i do need to hang around people um not all the time but i do need to um be around people in order to just and I, I mean again human interaction is very important and i've learned that that's very important for me so yeah um other than that like my advice to anyone else who's like dealing with kind of the situation that I was in on why I was sad, like feeling lonely, being in a place alone, not really having friends and stuff like that. Um, things do get better, which is probably so annoying to hear, but 10 months later and I'm finally freaking happy. Um, and like 10 months is a long time and um i'm just like happy overall that i'm in a better place mentally and physically in a better place and other than that like things that i did to try and be happy again which i said before was going out um which sometimes helped sometimes didn't um going to the dog park every single day for me was um something that helped me out if you don't have a dog like maybe going to the park or something I did try and read for a little while which did help but I kind of stopped because I just I was so mentally drained that I didn't want to read anymore but it did help in a certain time period when I was sad um facetiming my friends helped out um going out to eat by myself um helped out sometimes um Cleaning helped out because um, my place was a mess most of the time or like my room and like the kitchen because I was just so lazy to clean. Um, having a clean space really did help me out. Um, getting ready helped me out when I did get ready. Um, other than that, I think those were like some of the biggest things that helped me out while I was sad. But yeah. Um... I don't know. I'm probably gonna edit this and stuff and see if I wanna post it. I just hate, hate posting. Like, it's not, I don't know. I was thinking about it and I was like, is it embarrassed? Am I, I was like, am I embarrassed 
that I was like so depressed to the point where I wasn't like, um, I, I don't want to say not taking care of myself, but I mean, I wasn't taking care of myself like I normally was, or is it because I don't want to post this and have people I know see it and be like, I don't know, some people are just mean and they wish and pray on your downfall and stuff like that. But I know it will help people if I post this, whether that be one person, two people, like it doesn't matter. Um, and when I heard someone else talk about it, it helped me out. So hopefully if any of y'all feel the way that I felt, um, this will help y'all out. Um, but yeah, that's me and my little story of me being sad and stuff like that. But um, yeah, um, my biggest tip is just look for the light at the end of the tunnel. And um, even though it may take a few months to see the light at the end of the tunnel, it's still worth looking for. So um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped y'all out. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the groom and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I will see y'all again. I kind of want to do more talking videos. I've always been like super scared to show my personality and stuff and just talk. But like that's stuff that I like. I love hearing people talk or like getting ready while someone's talking in the background or something like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. So bye!